It's like in Western, on the surface level, is Western Colorado, or Eastern Colorado. Okay. That shows a, yeah, that barrel you're talking about, um, it's right on the border of South Dakota and uh, Nebraska. Um, oh, wind. On the 500 millibar level, we have uh, winds coming from um, around the New Mexico area. We have a jet streak right over Arizona, um, and that's heading straight north, so that won't affect us a whole lot. Our winds are coming from, the winds that will be up above us are coming from about New Mexico, and then from the Pacific before it hits New Mexico. At a... Uh, At the 850 level, we have winds coming uh, from Texas curving up to the north northeast into around Iowa, but then coming back into uh, south eastern South Dakota and north eastern um, Nebraska. Um, and there's a little bit of a streak above that area. Uh, This is for 18 UTC. Yeah. Okay. The so like 4,000 to 5,000, <coughs> um, depending on which model you're using. So uh, the cap though is fairly strong in Nebraska, especially the more westward that you get. Um, the very eastern part is in the, the 50s to 70s for sin, but that's, that's not too bad. Anything you see? So you have a strong cap and high values of sin. Uh, what do we focus on when we look into initiation of those storms? What do you think could help initiate storms in that area? Um, front, front or anything else? Dry line or, or dry line. Okay. Just so a, a cloud cover as well. <coughs> cloud cover will be important as well. So now we established there are regions of high cape. We know that the initiation will most likely happen on the dry line or the warm front there. So now let's look into what are the regions that are in a, a good shear environment. Where do we used to see a strong vertical shear? and also have at least decent cape to sustain storms. And once you find the overlap of all of those regions, you found your target area. I'm wrong, <laughs> sorry. Um, the, the cape, the highest amount of cape is on um, the e very eastern border of uh, Nebraska. That's also where there's uh, our little bubble of 60 shear. Okay. Maybe. Well, that's my only concern. That's <clears throat> that that could just be you know that could change because it's just it's not a very big area, so I'm not so confident in that area. <laughs> Maple Town, Iowa again. That was again. a very good introduction. I think it would have helped you really got to some fine conclusions. Now I'm going to open discussion to everybody else. Do you have any comments? Do you want to suggest something else to look at? Check the um. EHI index, or the Energy Helicity Index. It kind of, it's a composite index of both shear and cape together. It's on the NAM. Which oh, yeah. one do you want? NAM. Zero, you got one, it to, zero to three? three. Yeah, yeah, zero to three. See what that says. What's it got? It's a composite of both. I'm in shear. Yeah. Okay. And so, 
there is a spot in central Iowa of, that's very high. Mm -hmm. Jumps up to six yeah. or so. A very small circle. Um, I don't even know where that is. You can do rock too and compare the, I mean the wrap. You can do both. And compare where they're at. I can't. I don't know how to click it. I for something. You can do zero to three. This. Let's see what that has. There we go. Nope, you got the. <laughs> my, my, I broke this the other day, or all well, the other month. Want, want. And so now whenever I close it, it pushes this button and wants to shut off. But this is what we're looking at right in here. Is that the map? Yeah. This is the, uh, this is the wrapped version. Well, wait. <clears throat> the uh, the wrap shows almost the same thing, but slightly lesser values. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you guys look at uh, any forecasted surface temperatures for this afternoon, and or forecast soundings in your general I area? No, Here's, I was looking at temps, and it's going to be in the 70s and the 80s, but it gets all the way into 100 in southeastern Nebraska, but no, <laughs> more northeastern, it's more 70s or 80s. At one point. Yeah, 100, it, it's pink. <laughs> um, pink the dew points are up there, but they're not what they looked like last night when they were in the 70s. Um, upper 70s for this area. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't look at any soundings for central Iowa. Actually, I will do that Omaha. right now. This is the sounding for Omaha this morning. Um, you know, we have it's a little dry, but then it's very, very moist, and then just mm. really, really dry. I hope it graph. I'm sure that'll change as the day goes on.
take it in whenever we get there. We don't have to schedule anything. Yeah, and we'll be able to get her done. And do any other general services. Yeah. And the name of Jerry's is technically on uh, Google Maps, Jerry's General Services. So I'm not really sure what that entails, but if you need any other services, he might be able to help you out. So, we're stopped here in Norfolk, Nebraska. This doesn't remind me of home, man. I, just, it looks just like Virginia. <laughs> Very similar terrain and topography. Yeah, it's flat. That's about the right, that's good. That's about the similarity out of this. and that's about it. And it's warm. I mean, I'm not sweating when I walk outside immediately. It's you know, close. The, the it's, still, it's still pretty warm. We have, still pretty, feels... we have a low dew point here compared to what Virginia gets. <laughs> it's still pretty warm, though. Possibly. Feels about the same temperature, but nah, this doesn't feel like home. No, it's not. Virginia's a lot nicer. Uh, I yeah. mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The camera. It's true. East Coast, East Coast, woo! East Coast is the best, man. I love East Coast. Yeah, so we're here, getting tire patched. Getting ready to go chase. We're in the right, right what position. Are you, what are you running from? Matt. He's gonna try and launch. And oh, there are bees. There's a watch, guys. I got it. Step on him. Step on him. In front of you. In front. He's right there. Step. I got him. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Right out of the air. I'm not used to this ball being able to travel. So we're in the right spot to get a tire changed, or what are we doing? Are we getting patched or changed? I don't know if it's even a problem anymore. Really? Yeah, do you think maybe it just was sticking in and it fell out when we were driving again? They don't find it? I don't know. Gotcha. <laughs> we'll find out if they found it. But at any rate, we're kind of at the right spot for to see where everything happens now. And the football is underneath behind the tire. And Ronnie's hurt. Some things that you don't want to see again at Storm Chase. Definitely one of this is what I deal with every day, right here. They call it the two liter. <laughs> the two liter. It's not a keg yet. <laughs> Working on it. That's terrible. I saw Skywarn. I mean, what's that? I saw Skywarn over yeah. here. It might be at the right spot. What do you we, think? We made we made our own Skywarn. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's, it's on the van. I'd also I don't know if you can see it. it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, hey, look at it. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to see. Yeah. Who has the key? Wash me or Wash please. me please. No, Why don't you do it? No, it's not my van. Mine's clean. <laughs> not my van. No, Jim, do you have the keys to this van? No. Carrie has them. I don't have the keys. I saw a sky warn Adam. Do you have the keys? Alright, so uh, who else besides us wants to get <laughs> Oh sorry. It's too close. Um I don't know. I thought you were ready. Oh, still white. Oh blind. No. <laughs> Is there a pizza hut somewhere? Uh, I'm not that hungry to go to a steak club. Yeah, I'm not feeling a steak like that. I know. It's a little Caesar. It's I know. hot out here, man. Pizza. I don't know. But they don't got a sit down, so hot. I'm sure they have a pizza. Yeah, some of them know it's quite good. Buffanopoly! Buffanopoly! Go to the beach. Uh, oh, go oh wait, we're not in Virginia. Oh, oh. oh dang. Point me in the direction. Um, that way. That's east. 
might be a little small toll bridge with a little troll house where they charge toll. If that's the bridge I crossed five years ago then it's probably the same it's, one. yeah it's probably that one. And that would give us an option. Either we are on the right bridge or if we're not access down south would it's excellent along the uh, I-29 in this parallel road that goes there so we don't have to be on an interstate if you're actively chasing. Okay. So I think that would give us a lot of options. If we actually get to take a tour and we are still undecided, we can again cross the river and go to the Lewis and Clark State Park and wait there. Yeah. Thor. <laughs> it's an hour and ten minutes to take a tour. Okay. And that's what times were they initiating on the six, route? Five o'clock, around five p.m. local time, twenty okay. UTC. So it's still gonna give us some time. Sure. <laughs> I told Adam. I said this, this is probably different because we're not used to waiting this time. Well, you know, we're always getting there at the right, just at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So it's a little different today. So. Do you guys agree trekking eastward to Decatur and then? Yeah, I, I, I think well. I agree with that because I see a lot of stuff right at the line. A lot of the the main. Okay. I Let's agree. go to the Couture and. It's kind of the reason. Um. Yeah. Yep. It is. All so, right. So. Right now we're at these down here, um, they look to be moving northeast as opposed to north-northeast, so hopefully we'll be able to get to these ones here, which also look promising, and I'm trying to wait now. Uh, Come in. 
while you're still uh, routing a, and looking at the map, um, everybody in your van may want to have their cameras and or video cameras ready. Um, the latest I've heard is that they are still in Eli and they were positioned and parked in front of a large metal structure, either a six or eight car, uh, car garage, uh, possibly a fire uh, fire truck or you know municipal building or just some garage. But that is where the Weather Channel and others may be parked if they haven't already started to move. So be on the lookout for that type of structure if you want to snap any photos of them still there. All right, so we are in uh, Neely, Nebraska, in the middle of nowhere pretty much. and. <laughs> We've been chasing this up for a while now, probably about 30 minutes or so, and um, it's been worn for a few, it's been, it has been worn for a while, and it's still worn for the next 32 Bethany, minutes. Car coming. But, um, it's been worn for a while, and it's got, it's been notorious for about 70 mile per hour winds with up to a uh, quarter size hail at the time. rotation is found in this cell right now. It's just, just a pop-up cell right now. And nothing at the moment with any rotation monitoring this. Is, it can develop more into more. It's moving more of a north north east kind of a fashion here. Into more or less almost south of south. Precipitation shaft, there's the rain. But overall, pretty nice structure. I'm down. Like that, that little cloud right there. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Gosh. That, was that would be a first. cloud. What if it came down through the cloud and like broke the cloud in half? <laughs> That'd and be pretty big bolt of lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Except there is. Where's, where's the hammer? I don't know. It's just not. That's it. We're not wielding the hammer. I whipped it out yesterday and we got lots of lightning. I don't have so. my tornado sword on. Sure. Just waiting for it today. That's it too. We're supposed to wear it every, every day. What? Right? Why? 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 It's warm outside. And it's long sleeve. It's only 100 degrees. Come on. Suck it up. You have two shirts on now. Are you just not taking any? Are you taking all precautions now? Yes. You figure if you stay inside the vehicle, nothing will bite you. Yeah. I like to get out this way. Like I said, it's, I'm not in charge. Jason's got the seat. You're in charge. You're in charge of the cone. There's no cone. Why is there no cone? Hey, get the cone, man. We're going to be having to get back in the van. Everyone's getting I'm so sorry. You need that cone. That's why it's not for me. Like, it's too late now. We almost got hit. It's yeah, too late. Next time, I'll remember it. You, you better remember tomorrow. We were just talking about it. We said Pressure. we stopped on that hill, like right there. We didn't the, stop on the hill. We stopped on the hill. There, so somebody doesn't run this over. Boys, arguing. No, boys. Like, Matt Kaminsky. Can you explain to me what's going on? You're, you're a forecaster. Come on. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Well, we have a super cell thunderstorm over there. Where? It's, uh, Where is it at? Out yonder there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's right there, guys. That's it. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> oh. I don't know, is this cell dying out? How many cells are there? It looks like it to me. It looked like it was. Yeah, I'm really calling. I already told Adam it looks like it's just... On radar, it looked like it was dying. Where's the next one? Nothing. Everything. There's none? I don't know, I mean, it's... They're, they're all south of us, I assume. We have cars, that's up. What's out? Well, you know. He's painting all of his clothes. Wave at Adam. Wave at Adam. <laughs> wave at Adam. <laughs>
Give him whatever you want to do. You're I am. See, it's backwards. It's backwards. He's not paying attention. <laughs> you were having terrible. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I hit the water. What's up, Adam? Yeah. I'm trying to get a game plan for where we want to be tonight, for where we may end up tomorrow. Go, go, go. <laughs> I was waiting to see if get everybody's attention. No. I just wanted to get your attention. It obviously worked. No, he was just waving. <laughs>